We're back to Genotype to see what's up with this huge combat update or something like that. Thing is that I'm being greeted by a message suggesting me to start a new game, which I wouldn't necessarily say I was far into the save slot, but it is still kind of annoying that new stuff introduced are kind of resetting your progress. Well, I mean, you can continue, but it's gonna be like much different experience. I suppose the plan is to essentially restart the whole thing again and see what's really different. Because apparently even the environment changed, so... I don't know, it's a little bit weird situation here. <laughs> Use the grade. What was that? A greeting from an ecosystem that's gonna flood the planet. Good. You've extracted the creature's genome mass. You can use that to craft utility items. And to do that, you'll need a terminal. There's one in the registration office up ahead. Hang on, be right back. Wait. Brilliant. Just brilliant. It's kinda annoying I need to wait certain sections to pass. Yeah, that was like a new icon or whatever that you gather biomass but so far nothing has been really different you're handling it like a champ i can see you through the security cameras any chance of you lending a physical hand soon unfortunately i am stuck at the dig site and let's just say the atmosphere here is dense <laughs> convenient i'm coming to you then i need that emergency radio I'll open the door for you. Oh, there are criticals. I mean, definitely seems much smoother. Absolutely, from the previous experience. Like, just little things matter. And this area was not here. So I guess it was worth to start a new play session. This is a check-in console. You don't want to miss these. The registration office is locked with a code. It should be in the janitorial office on the first floor. I'm pressing buttons. What's this thing? We call them wallets. It was management's way of rewarding us for our work. Stick it in your glove. You can use the tokens to upgrade your gloves at a terminal. What did... The new creature seems to be a so-called grubber. Print it by pulling the rib... Oh. And who is this wonderful slimy fella? We call... It works. Presto. The game definitely had some major changes since it's released, like... What's in this? It's a Genomass capsule, slotted in the utility socket of your glove. You can use Genomass to craft utility items at a terminal. It doesn't seem like it was a fully realized project, but... I appreciate that the devs support it all the way. Surprise! This is your friend Carlos with an automated recording. So, you want to steal my stuff, do you? Well, come and get me. Oh no, Carlos booby-trapped this whole place. Here they come! Use the grubber, yank those bastards! Any more coming? I'm afraid so. Keep that grubber ready. That's it. I don't see any more. I thought I was done for. You did good. There are definitely more safe spots than before. But I kind of want to go to the main terminal 
with upgrades. I don't know if I'll make it. All right, I'm in the office. I found the code. It's 8822. Great job. Now, get into the registration office and use the terminal. But it's interesting the game doesn't have like an autosave. I should have the code for this lock, right? Correct. Punch in the code you found in the janitor's office. You remember it, right? Of course. Eight, eight, two, two. What a speed run. But there are like some heavy frame drops. It's a recipe you can craft using the terminals. Here you can store physical objects thanks to our ingenious dimensional compression. Take out the medical syringe, plug it into your utility slot, and use the trigger. You'll feel a lot better. There are more tokens going on. That's a terminal. Use it to upgrade hand creatures, craft utility items, and improve your grade gloves. How user-friendly is this thing? Follow the instructions and you'll be a pro in no time. Try using your genome mass to craft an item. So now there are like pathways. But I don't have any strains, so... And not enough tokens. Well, I mean... At least it's something different, but I can't access it now. Maybe I'll try to load my Sefa and see there. What the? What a welcoming party. Too small. <laughs> I can't aim at you. Can we calm down finally? So, what are my stats here? I need to essentially go to the terminal, which would be as well in registration office and I hope I have some more stuff unlocked here I don't even know if it's the... Jesus Christ actual safe I ended up with oh. can you stop following me? <laughs> I 
no strains yet and not enough tokens, so I can't see anything else. But these are like pathways to different stuff that I can't show. I suppose I play some more and see more gameplay dynamics. It's just a weird situation all across the board. I don't know what to do then. <laughs> I miss. I mean, I expect to meet them later on. I feel like I went into this upgrade with a bad perspective, but also it's because my Sefa is not as advanced as it should be in order to unlock certain stuff, so that's kind of a shame, but I can tell that the gameplay was like smoothed out with more tokens available around, the damage effects, like it's definitely a much pleasurable experience. The most noticeable thing would be this skill tree per se, that I don't think you need to replay the whole thing again because you can just reset upgrades and that's it. So I don't know why this message was in the beginning kinda misleading, unless bigger environments later on are drastically different. I mean, I don't know, it's still a solid game that I will one day continue playing. It's just awkward that it gets more and more changes that kinda make it a different project than before. 